Hey there, welcome back to part 2 of our mesh generator. Today we make some improvements so you can use this generator and interact with other objects. You will also see how to make more complex structures like this looping. But first, let's make some general improvements. If you add a collider to the mesh, the mesh collider will always use the current mesh. So if you change your mesh later, the mesh collider will stay the same. So we have to update the mesh in our mesh collider. We can do this first in our reset method, after we calculated our vertices and triangles. So we first get the mesh collider with get component, and then set the shared mesh to our current generated mesh. This will update the colliders. We also have to do this in our expand method, because if we expand the mesh, you also have to expand the colliders. So now, if we go back to our scene and hit reset or expand the mesh, you will hardly see our mesh collider, because it is now inside the texture. So now, let's see how to create a looping. A looping is pretty similar to a turn right or a turn left, except that it is a full turn, and of course, it goes up. So to create a nice curve, we will start with 40 vertices points and a radius of 2.5. We also need three points from the last vertices and the pre-bottom right from the pre-last vertices. Then the first thing we do is save the current direction, because we want to continue that way after the looping. Now we can calculate the center position of our looping. This will be in the middle of bottom left and bottom right, but with the height addition of our radius. Our center direction will be upwards, so we calculate it with bottom right minus top right. We can also create a for loop with our turn vertices points. Then we can initialize our new vertices lists, reset our radius and create a for loop for our four vertices points. And because we always created two bottom vertices first, we have to change the radius with the third vertices point. So now we can calculate our new y and z position. The x position will be the same as last, but with a little addition, because we want the end of the looping a little bit to the left. And that's it for the calculation. Now we can add our new vertices to our vertices list, change the last vertices and calculate our new triangles. And after we calculated the looping points, we add a new vertice and triangle group with the current direction we saved before, because we want to go straight after the looping. So I hope you learned something new today. Subscribe to watch more tutorials and I'm sure I see you in the next.